Today's effort, I'm tackling a problem that was really driving me nuts, was that the, the cycle time counter would not reset every time you run the program again, it just carries on, which to me seems very, very silly. I would want the cycle time to reset every time I run the program. This way I know how far I am off the end of the program. Uh, I do a, a reasonable amount of production work on the mill, so this is something that I've been chasing lately. And with the help of Dan on the UCC and C group, he's pointed me in the right direction on what to do. So here's what I've done to solve the problem. So here in UCC and C, I've got a little sample program loaded in. You can see here the, the zero cycle time. Now it's got a few seconds in there at the moment. Now if I was to start that program, it would just continue on from three seconds on and it would just accumulate every time I run the program. It would accumulate and build up in time. I want that to zero every time I start my program. First things I need to do is in your um, install directory for UCC and C, go and find the uh, profiles for what you want to use. Uh, now in mine, it is my quill drive. Now I've gone and I have created this macro, where is it going? Here. It's a very simple one. You can see there's zero cycle time, button, reset, macro. Now that's the code or the script that you want in your macro. Save that. Now to get that macro to work, at the head of my sample program here, I've got M20001, which is that macro call, and then some sample code. Let's give it a run and see if it works. So here I've got my sample code loaded into UCC and C. It's just going to simply wrap it down, feed on the taper down for, for a little bit, and then lift up, and that's it. Let's see if it resets the cycle time. Yes, it does. So that's the cycle. I'll run it again. Resets the time. Just look here. Works perfect.